7 magnitude quake struck near Solano County early this morning. Melissa's with an engineering uh, geologist learning more about earthquakes. Yeah, so growing up in the Bay Area, that's something you always talked about, always had a potential concern about. But the question is, could it really impact us up here in Sacramento? Introduce yourself to the folks at home. Hi, I'm Cindy Pridmore. I'm with the California Geological Survey. We have our headquarters here in Sacramento, and uh, we're the state's geological survey. So we are very concerned about earthquakes and their impacts on California. And you say this map is really where it's yeah. going to show our this, probability. This map, it's, it's not a temperature map, so the cool colors are good. So the cool colors over here where we are in Central Valley shows that we have a very low likelihood of an earthquake right underneath us. Okay. You move over to the Bay Area, that's a different story though. The earthquakes in the Bay Area, the San Andreas, the Hayward, the Concord, the Calaveras, all these faults through here are active and they could cause strong earthquakes that could affect us in here in Sacramento. Yeah, so what do you mean? How can they affect us? Are we talking like uh, aftershocks, ripple effects? Like what kind of damage the main shock, uh, when these earthquakes go, whether it's a, a, a high six or magnitude seven, we will feel strong shaking as that energy moves out. So the earthquake, not the aftershock, but the main earthquake as that energy moves across. Here's West Sac. This is where we are here. Where Sacramento's right over here. So this energy will move out and cause strong shaking in the valley area. So you're having a demonstration today mm -hmm. at the Powerhouse Discovery Science right. Center and so you brought some of your tools right. so that the kids can kind of play along. What are you going to do with the pasta? Well we're gonna, we have a whole two-day uh, event of, of earthquake activities. The pasta here helps us understand the different sizes of earthquakes. If we look at a magnitude six, a five earthquake, we pretend if we break this Oh, it's not that much. The amount of energy that's released during that, if we compare that to a magnitude 5, if we go to a magnitude 6, and this is 32 better. times Whoa! <laughs> the energy. Now, how are you going to break this? Did right. you work out so if you go to a magnitude morning? 7, it's 32 times larger than this one. Wow. So the kids will be able to get that. And we go all the way up to magnitude 9, but that's kind of a secret how we do that one. Okay, now what is this? You were saying this, this helps is a fault. This helps, helps kids understand why, if, if the faults are moving past each other, why do we have earthquakes? So if we had a very slippery earthquake, we would never have earthquakes because the, 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 the plates would move right along. But because we have friction on these faults, the rough side here, the energy builds up. And then when it oh, overcomes so the friction, we have the earthquake sliding past. Okay. Uh, earthquakes can be very episodic. Uh, wherever we do have earthquakes in California, we have active faults. And one of the most important things that we don't do in California is we don't build houses and buildings on top of active faults because if uh -oh. you build a fault, Calm you're going to rupture yes. that and there's no way to design for that. But we do have shaking throughout the state. So shaking is a whole other thing that we design for. Tsunami also a potential danger, Tsunami. especially down in the Bay Area where there's a lot of waterways. Right. And uh, all along our coastline from, from um, uh, Del Norte County all the way down to San Diego, we are subject to tsunamis. Tsunamis, most tsunamis are from when the uh, ocean core gets pushed up uh, by a fault and the water oh, can come flooding on. We didn't fill this all the way up today, but you can see how that water can come on. And if, if we have an earthquake offshore that causes a tsunami, that tsunami can come within very few minutes, about 15 minutes. Very rare event, but we want people to understand the science behind those signs. Okay, now this is very visual and interesting. Right. You said this is like potential danger with the levees. Right, so right? in Sacramento, downtown Sacramento, we have uh, the confluence of the American and the Sacramento River, a lot of loose river sediments and a high water table. We have the potential for liquefaction, which goes all the way out to the Bay Area. Okay. So if we have an earthquake that shakes stronger than about 15 seconds, you can see oh. the water coming to the surface. Oh, and look at those pipes <gasps> coming up. Those what could be that? ruptured pipes that bring water and fuel to our community. So even though we don't have earthquakes right underneath our, our county, uh, we can have liquefaction near the river Which and is... in the downtown Sacramento area. Okay, so if people want to come out, where is it happening and when? The event today is all day sac all day Saturday, all day Sunday from 10 to 4. We'll have four lectures to today to tomorrow and in the uh, the uh, uh, the lab there we'll have all these hands-on activities for people to do so thank you so much all right great info <laughs> very interesting science can be fun code no. i'm gonna take your job i'm gonna slap you with some science there you go there you go that's good stuff